Hello, and welcome to this video on use of colour bottles in brewing. Most viewers will have realised that wine largely comes in either green, clear, or cardboard storage, the last being wine largely in name only. Beer comes in a similar range of coloured bottles and in tins. In the brewing videos uploaded to this channel, they have either been in clear or amber bottles. This raises the question of why. Brewing and storage bottles are coloured for the same reason that medicine bottles are coloured glass. It primarily concerns light damage and storage stability, with a far lagging aesthetics quality. So let us begin with the first effects of light. UV radiation has been known to affect biological products for centuries, and non-biological products over the last 150 years. Plastics degrade, and skin can develop cancer due to UV light. This happens because light is energy, and it excites the molecules that make up all matter. In this video, only the biological products will be discussed, and it should be remembered that to an extent, non-biological products are affected. Chemicals that absorb energy in the visible light spectrum are the primary source of concern in brewing and storage. While darker bottles show less color change than lighter bottles when held to the constant ambient temperature of 30 degrees, comparing them with a control bottle left completely in the dark shows that even the darkest bottles do undergo some color changes when exposed to the cycles of daylight. There is a commonly held belief that green bottles are better at keeping the sunlight out, and white bottles do not need this due to refrigeration. Beer bottles were green in colour until the 1930s, when it was discovered that brown bottles filtered out some light that prevented the beer from going bad. Chemists at the University of North Carolina and Ghent University of Belgium found that sunlight breaks down alpha acids in hops, and these react with sulphur to make a chemical that is nearly identical to the smelly chemical that skunks spray. Beers with little or no hops aren't as susceptible to damage from the light, so clear and green bottles are widely accepted for those beers. The results show that the use of brown bottles and the short time storage reducing the browning of the orange wines. However, storage at two different temperatures did not significantly affect the browning at all. Brown bottles filter out visible and ultraviolet light that causes this reaction. Clear and green bottles don't do much for filtering out harmful light. Clear and green bottles are often a marketing decision rather than a practical one. The darkest bottles, otherwise known as antique green, give the greatest protection against colour intensity changes when exposed to light. However, when temperature is not controlled and it goes up to 80 degrees centigrade, antique green bottles were the worst performers in terms of protecting wine. In coloured bottles, such as those used for red wine, the tension of ascorbic acid is more in beverages stored in amber coloured bottles in low temperatures than it is under non-coloured bottles in low temperatures, such as those used for white wine. Next is chemical stability and storage. Stability of storage is the driving force in selecting glass bottles. No harmful chemicals from plastic can leach into products if glass is used. A reason wine and spirits are stored in glass is purity of taste. Plastic and to a lesser degree metal can impart various flavors to beverages stored in them. Some years ago, scientists and the FDA started issuing warnings about phenol A, commonly known as BPA. This has led to a movement away from plastic containers, the alternative being metal and glass. Glass used for food and beverage containers doesn't leach chemicals and glass is an almost zero rate of chemical interaction. This ensures that products kept inside a glass bottle keep their strength, aroma and flavour. The non-porous surface of glass doesn't absorb any food odours or flavours, and glass can be safely washed at high temperature. This ensures containers are kept sterile and safe. They can be used and reused this saves money for brewers at home, and glass allows you to see what leftovers are contained inside the bottle. Glass is also useful for purely aesthetic reasons. And the specific use of amber bottles and green bottles is demonstrated by works of Scomonis and company. To quote, A420 white wine in bottles of antique green or amber glass could not be measured directly due to strong absorbance of that wavelength by the glass. Further, in situ absorbance measurements, Plus subsequent analysis and sensory assessments in wine and green bottles showed the method estimated of oxidation in wine absorbance spectra of the full visible range was obtained only in clear bottles. End quote. Sally in 2002 backs this up with the following quote. The following conclusions can be drawn from this study. The bright yellowish color of orange wine was subject to changes in darker color during the period of storage. Color changes in orange wine were lower in dark colored bottles Storage at either temperature did not significantly affect the browning index. Further studies were needed to be undertaken for better understanding the browning effect of orange wines in these bottles. From these two studies, it could be shown that 
in a colored bottle, there is far less change in the contents than there would be in a clear bottle, and this explains the historical and continuing usage of amber and green bottles for both wine and home brewing. The relevance of this has been mentioned in other areas, such as culture and yeast, where it was advised that wrapping a container of yeast in tin foil would help to alleviate some of the effects and increase the longevity of a yeast culture. This is simply a very direct and rather an effective approach for resolving the issue of storing something safely and preventing the attraction of light, and thereby causing mutations in yeast, and in this case the alteration of the contents of the bottle, thereby possibly ruining a perfectly good home brew. Thank you for watching this video. Please post any comments, questions, or suggestions you may have below.